Well, Callum Coleman-Jones, welcome to North Melbourne, mate. We're really wrapped to have you here as a player. Uh, how did it all come about and how did you end up becoming a North Melbourne player for 2022 and beyond? Yeah, thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Um, it probably got towards the end of the year and I was looking at my options and had a few discussions with my manager and decided to look around a bit for further opportunity to um, play more senior footy, footy and whatnot. So uh, North, North approached my manager and we were keen to catch up and have an interview. Um, I wasn't in Melbourne at the time, so it was over Zoom, just like this. So uh, I think just maybe a week or two after our last game, um, had a Zoom call with Nobes, uh, Luffy, Brady, and um, yeah, got a feeling of the direction of the club and the playing list and where they see me fitting in. And um, yeah, so yeah, we talked through that, probably spent an hour, hour and a half catching up there and gave me a good idea and made me feel comfortable about, you know, the clubs going in the right direction and some of the players, which are really exciting. So yeah, that's the how it initially started. And then probably a week later, we had a follow-up meeting and then that kind of solidified, in my mind, my decision to move to North. So yeah. So you obviously had some really good chats there and that convinced you that North Melbourne's a great place to come. Um, so when you got off the phone from those chats, how much did you want to become a, a North Melbourne player and start your career as a fresh start at a new club? Oh, yeah, those chats made me hugely excited to um, join the club and just be able to build like um, a real future with such an exciting young list and some real exciting young midfielders and obviously some great senior players there too, which have helped build the foundation of the club over the last few years. So, yeah, I was, I was pumped when I um, came to my decision to join the club and, yeah, I can't wait. You obviously got a good feeling from David Noble too and what he's trying to uh, bring to this group. And and you're probably not across the narrative, the, the process yet that we've been using this year, but he obviously uh, made you feel very welcome and, and that you're going to be a really important part of the club in the future. Yeah, definitely. Um, Nobes was great. Um, we had some one-on-one -on -one chats on the phone too, which um, gave me a great understanding of what he's like as a coach. And I heard only good things about him from outside um sources people tell me good things about him and um yeah he gave us gave me a feel of the sort of game style they're trying to play and the sort of systems and the um sort of yeah the processes that they're implementing and yeah it gave me a great feeling that the club's on the right path and something that i definitely wanted to be a part of how much was the potential to play ruck um like sort of effective in your decision to come across um the potential that Todd Goldstein, obviously an amazing player, but he can't go on forever as much as he, he probably wants to pay till he's 40. But I imagine the club probably sold you on that potential to play a little bit more through the ruck and have a bit of versatility in your role to play forward and ruck. Yeah, definitely. That was a big part of the decision for me. Um, obviously, Goldie's a great player and I look forward to learning off him, learning the craft off him. Um, unbelievable player. And yeah, but I've always thought that my best footy going forward is in that ruck role where I can then spit forward and use my work rate around the ground. So, oh yeah, I look forward to just building in that role and yeah, just keep getting better as a player. For North fans who haven't seen you, and I'm surprised there'd be many because we've all been watching your highlights over the last few days, but what are your main strengths and what are your main, main assets that you're going to bring to the table at North? Yeah, I think my ability to work around the ground, um, get to LDL contests, impact in the air, and then follow up and push forward and be a threat down forward as well is big for me. And then when my game's up and going, my uh, being able to impact the game aerially, take marks and uh, yeah. Callum, you had a pretty highly publicised incident in 2020 where you were suspended for the 10 matches. What sort of experience did you get from a learning capacity out of that one? Yeah, well, obviously it was a very hard time for myself, but I'd obviously let quite a lot of people down and hurt the club and, you know, embarrass my family and things like that. So it was a tough period for me, but... I think it really made me reflect on, you know, certain behaviours in my life and, you know, delve a bit deeper into myself and work on myself more off the field, on the field, yeah, train hard, get back. But it was more just, you know, becoming more self-aware, working with some people, understanding why, you know, sort of do things in a certain way. And it just, yeah, it's helped me grow as a person massively. Um, you know, this year's I've taken leaps and bounds in that area and, like, yeah, just reflecting back sometimes, yeah, Sometimes those hardest times really, you know, make you, you know, come out the other side a much better person. So, yeah. I think that's really impressive attitude, mate. And, um, and I imagine, because Richmond gave you a fair bit of support during that period, I imagine that's why 
there was talks about going through to the preseason draft and things like that. But I imagine you always wanted to make the deal amicable so that Richmond could get a fair deal, um, given that they've supported you so much over those couple of years as well. Yeah, that's right. Richmond were unbelievable to me in that time. And they looked after me, made sure I was okay, helped me through um, that sort of period um, to get back and gave me all the support they could. So that's, yeah, when the um, trade period came around, I always wanted there to be a fair deal made where Richmond got looked after as well. I didn't want to um, leave them shorthanded. So, yeah, I was happy that a deal could get done in the end and not have to use the uh, preseason draft. You feel like as much as these incidents and mistakes are, are probably a horrible thing in life, did it really help you mature as a person and, and off the back of that as a football player? Yeah, definitely. Um, it made me mature unbelievable amounts. Um, yeah, looking back to almost it was probably a year or so ago now, yeah, I've come a long way and it's helped my football hugely. So, you know, if I'm going through this sort of like a tough period in the season or a bit of adversity, I can reflect on that sort of situation and, Take, thing, take some of the learnings that I've found from that and use them in my everyday life. So, yeah, it's been massive. And tell us how much you can't wait to get into a North Melbourne jumper and, and a North Melbourne training singlet for pre-season in uh, a month or so's time. Oh, yeah. No, I can't wait at all. Just got to pick my number and then get that out of the way. So that's exciting for me too, to find a number to wear and, um, you know, try on the blue and white. Haven't been able to yet, so... Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it will look good on me. So, um, no, nah, I can't wait. Have you got a number in mind, mate? Uh, I was working through a few with Brady at the moment. So, it's come down to a couple options, but I'll just wait until it comes official. How, how, can you help us out with a nickname too, Callum? Um, CCJ has been getting around a little bit, but you, can you help us out for the North fans out uh, there? Oh, it's pretty much just CJ. Uh, CCJ, yeah, more just CJ, but I'm sure I'll get one at North. I'm sure that one will come at North that will stick soon. So, yeah. Oh, well, good on you, mate. We're, we're really wrapped to have you on board uh, as a North Melbourne player going forward. I'm sure the fans can't wait to see you out on the ground as much as we can't either. We're really looking forward to seeing you in the, in the Royal Blue and White. So all the best, Cal. No, thanks, mate. Appreciate it.